Okay, Mod 4 Lesson 2, we're relating the first one is wanting us to draw a picture to show the division. So let's say I had an A, I had one cracker, but I had four people I was going to share that cracker with. I ended up having to cut that cracker into four pieces so that I could show, share one out of four pieces of that cracker to each. That means each person would have got one-fourth of that cracker. So you can see one divided by four equals one-fourth. Now B says three divided by five. So this time we're going to say we have three crackers. And we're going to be dividing those up to five people. One, two, three, four, and five. Now I'm going to split each cracker into five pieces. Now, I'm going to take these sections of the cracker, I'm going to split it up equally. I can see I get one, two, three, four, five out of that one. So each one is going to get one piece of all three of these crackers. So you can see each one of these people that got three out of five pieces. So we know three divided by five would equal three fifths. Our last one, we have seven crackers this time. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to split this up to four people this time. Now, in, since we have more crackers than we have people, this time what we can do is we can take our whole crackers and we can split them up to the people first. Now, once I get down to the point where I don't have enough crackers to give you everyone a whole cracker again, now I'm going to split these crackers into four pieces. So now, now I'm going to, each one of these people is going to get one fourth of the remaining crackers. And this is where it gets kind of messy. Okay, so as you can see, these were holes, so each one got one, and they each got one quarter of the remaining three, so they got three fourths. So each one got one and three fourths. Now, if we wanted to check that, because we know we had seven crackers, we could add these back up. We know it would be one plus one plus one plus one, so we have four. Plus, we have three fourths, plus three fourths, plus three fourths, plus three fourths, which is going to equal three, six, nine, twelve fourths, which is also equal to three. So four plus three gives us seven. So you can see it did work. Okay, use a picture to show us six people could share four sandwiches. So basically, I got four sandwiches, and I'm going to divide that by six people. So here's my four sandwiches. There's one, two, three, and four. Now my six people, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Instead of doing the lines this time, I'm going to number them. One, two, three, four, five, and six to make it a little easier. Now, since we have six people, we're going to split each one of these sandwiches into six parts. Now, 
Now you could draw the lines on this also. It's just going to get pretty messy, so I'm going to try to do this to let you see it easier. Okay. Now, now I'm going to split these sandwiches up to six people. I can see there'd be one, two, because this one here would have went to number one. This one would went number two. So I'm just going to use numbers now. Three, four, five, and six. <clears throat> Second would have been one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we can see this number one guy here. He got one, two, three, four. He got four sixths of the sandwiches. And two would have done the same thing. So everyone would have got four sixths of the sandwiches. Now to show that works, since we could just add all these back up, we can see we had four sandwiches to start with and that's four times six is going to be 24 six, which is equal to four. Okay, now fill the blanks to make true number sentences. Well, we know two divided by seven is going to be equal to two sevenths, now that we understand it. 39 divided by five is 39 fifths. 13 divided by three would be 13 thirds. Nine fifths would actually be nine divided by five. 19 twenty-eighths would be 19 divided by 28. One three fifths equals. Now, if you look at this, we know one could also be written as five fifths plus three fifths, which equals eight fifths. So this would also be written as eight divided by five.